New Zealand often gets left off the world map. Some New Zealand knowledge you can add to your basket today is that New Zealand has more breweries per capita than the US, UK and Australia. There has been a 64% increase in breweries over the last five years. With an increase in breweries and beer festivals, there is no hiding that craft beer is a massive trend at the moment. These craft beers are packed, full of flavour. But what is causing this flavour? It's a combination between the malt, yeast and, most importantly, hops. Hops are a flower produced by the Humulus lupulus plant. It has been known for decades that they are important for producing the bitterness in the beer, and the science behind this has been well studied. What has had less study is the aroma compounds. Now this is what gives the beer those interesting flavours. Bringing this back to New Zealand, our hop breeding program can take up to 10 years to produce a new hop variety. Although the lengthy time, we have been able to produce some very unique cultivars. However, we still produce less than 1% of the world's hops. And that's where I come in. I was fortunate enough to collect my own samples from the Tasman region, where majority of New Zealand hops are grown. Using these samples, I apply a fingerprinting approach to detect as many aroma compounds as possible. Just like the human fingerprint, we can identify how each of the different varieties are unique from one another. So far, I have been able to identify how varieties change depending on how, where they are grown and at what time they are harvested. So, by piecing together all of this fingerprinting information, we can share this with the hop breeders and farmers. The hop breeders can use this information to create even more unique varieties and hopefully decrease the amount of time it takes to grow more varieties. The hop farmers can use this information to know where they might be able to expand where they're growing the hops and also have more knowledge on the time of harvest and how this is affecting the aroma compounds. By scientifically proving that New Zealand is a fantastic place to grow uniquely flavoured hops, and that we can expand where we are growing our hops in New Zealand, we will be able to expand the industry hugely and create a name for ourselves on the hop map.